Hi everybody, I hope everybody is doing well today. So this reading is going to be about the recent sheriff who shot the judge in his chambers um, last month. Um, so Sean Mickey Steins, 43 years old, who was the sheriff of Letcher County, which is in Kentucky, shot and killed district drug, district, excuse me, District Judge Kevin Mullins, age 54, at the Leicester County Courthouse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stein's lawyer is calling the crime a heat of passion. Um, it's being said that the sheriff has claimed that someone was trying to kidnap his wife and kids. The shooting is thought to have ca been caused because Stein's discovered his 15-year-old daughter's phone number in Judge Mullen's phone. So this reading, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be taking a look into the motive for this crime. Wisdom, which is the hair font in regular tarot. This card makes me feel like I have some of the information, but not all. This card makes me feel like the sheriff shot the judge without having all of the information. I just heard pure speculation. He thought something and then he killed him simply based on an assumption or his own conclusions without having all of the actual knowledge. So obviously we'll keep shuffling and we'll see what else comes out. The feeling I'm getting is jump to conclusions. That's my official, my initial thought, but we'll see what comes out. Throat chakra and destiny. It's like if I had spoken, this is the Wheel of Fortune, by the way, in regular tarot. If we had spoken, if I had said something, I would have figured out the actual truth. Mm, the feeling I'm getting is that the sheriff may have overreacted. I just heard a little. Disruption, which is the tower. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, isn't that interesting that authority's underneath the throat chakra? It's like th things fell apart and then I spoke. Yeah, this is giving me acted before actual thought jump the gun. No pun intended. Unfortunately, I'm thinking that the judge, uh, the sheriff may have killed the judge prematurely. Spiritual union, which is the two of cups. And the tower in reverse. There's a relationship here that was not ending. Hmm. 
Interesting. I'm wondering if the judge and the sheriff's wife are having an affair. There's a relationship that wasn't ending. The feeling I'm getting is that it's not with the daughter. Intuition in reverse. And yeah, stand your ground, which is the seven of wands. Yeah, again with, I'm going off of my intuition and not actual facts. I'm going off my intuition and it's like, nothing is gonna change my mind. Yeah, this, this one to turn over it. Look at foundations and achievements. When he says kidnap my wife and daughter, I'm wondering if he was meaning like not actually kidnap, but like take his family away. I'm wondering if his wife was having an affair, the sheriff, with the judge. And we're speaking to each other through the daughter so as not to get caught. How does that work? Hmm, let's see. Base chakra, which is I have. And shadow. Which is the moon. It's like what I have is not hidden. Hmm. Or something like it's almost like what I have is proof, or it's like it's okay. What I'm feeling is like what the sheriff presented was actual true evidence, but it wasn't the whole story. It was like 50% of the story. Yeah, the sheriff, I think, made a mistake. Deception and Envy, which is the Seven of Swords, in regular, and Hope. Yeah, it's like, the Sheriff made up his mind that what the information that he had, um, it was like there's no turning back. But this problem with the information that he had, it wasn't full. 50% of the info. And also I feel like some of the information was lies. It was a lie. But the sheriff ran with it. I just heard it was because of fear. He was scared that he was going to lose everything, and that's why he reacted in the way that he did. is the moon and prosperity begins in reverse which is the ace of pentacles 
he thought he was going to lose his job. He thought he was going to lose his job. Again, I'm feeling like the wife. The wife and the judge. I think had something going on. I'm feeling like it has nothing to do. Nothing to do with the daughter. Like in the way that it's kind of being portrayed in the media. As like they were having some kind of like um, intimate relationship, like sexual relationship, but I'm not. I'm feeling like that's not the case. Deception and envy, seven of swords in reverse, and trapped in fear. The truth has me trapped in fear. I think they need to look at the marriage between the sheriff and his wife. I think there was issues. I think that the sheriff found out about an affair. And thought that his whole life was, he was gonna lose his wife, his kid. I'm not sure if he has more than one child a child at the very least and his job sacral chakra i want trapped in fear yeah he was afraid he was gonna lose everything mm. i think it's a crime of passion oh and by the way the sheriff who's caught a video by the way has pleaded not guilty to this crime. Mental conflict, he couldn't deal with it. The sheriff, which is the two of swords in reverse. Or, yeah, so he took matters into his own hands. All right, let's start pulling. Solitude, which is the hermit. Yeah, he was afraid of being alone. Financial and material changes. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, he was afraid of losing it all and being alone. Apparently, they were at like. The judge and the the judge and the sheriff were at lunch with a group of people, and then the judge said to the sheriff, "Do I need to talk to you in private?" They went back to the judge's chambers, and that is or office or whatever it is, and um, that's when the shooting occurred. And I guess they called his fifteen-year-old daughter on. Are the judge the sheriff called? Hmm. The sheriff called the judges, the sheriff called his daughter on his phone. No, I think there was no answer and then called him on the judge's phone and there was no answer. So I'm wondering if the information about the affair came from the daughter. Obstacles and challenges, five of wands. Positive movement forward which is the Eight of Pentacles. This makes me feel like other people knew. There's something about seeing them at work together. I think this is the wife and the judge, the sheriff's wife and the judge. There's also an issue here with the sheriff um, 
being in conflict with other people in that office. I think that's going to come out that he was combative with people in the office, other people, as well as the judge, Light, which is the son. There's gonna, it's gonna come up that the sheriff had issues at work. And I, I think it's also gonna come out that like these issues that the sheriff was having were slowly growing in intensity, like getting worse over time, especially in the workplace. I'm almost feeling, I feel like that is what prompted the judge to, in the wife, I believe, to meet because of the sheriff's behavior. Hope. Oh my goodness. I'm wondering if the sheriff misinterpreted the relationship between the wife and the sheriff. Obstacles and challenges and hope. It's like we're having these problems. I'm looking for a solution. This is a star, by the way, in regular tarot. Yeah, choose wisely, which is a seven of cups. If you want to keep, if you still want to keep working here, you need to decide which kind of person you're going to be. But this also makes me feel like the judge had relationships with people in the office. Which makes me think that that is why the sheriff jumped to the conclusion when he found out that I believe it's his wife was interacting with this judge because he has seen this judge have relationships with other people in the workplace. Patience and planning, which is the seven of pentacles and regular. I, re I find this out and then I start plotting. I start watching. Yeah, it's like I find out this information, then I start planning. So this murder was premeditated. It wasn't an impulse. There was forethought. The truth, which is judgment. I just had to check. Sometimes I get them mixed up. Um, it's like we have this problem. We're hoping it's going to get better. But the truth is that it's not. Okay, so this affair, I think this is an affair between the judge and the sheriff's <laughs> wife. Um... It's like he thought that it was going to stop. But the truth is it wasn't going to stop or the relationship wasn't going to stop. This is, I don't believe this is about the daughter at all. Spiritual daughter in the sense that my family is going to get taken away, but not like sexual deviance. Spiritual strength, which is the nine. This is my death card. Nine of wands. There was a warning before this happened. The sheriff warned the judge that this was going to happen before this happened. Why were they calling the daughter? Though? Material and spiritual prosperity, which is the six of 
pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like he wouldn't stop. Did the wife tell him that she was going to leave him? I just heard no. No. So he was trying to make it stop. Just heard poor. Poor. Poor method to make the affair stop. Material Harvest, which is the Nine of Pentacles. It's like, I realized what was going on and I started plotting in order to keep my job. So what happened that day? I just heard scare. It was a scare that went out of control. I just heard like terror and then I seen like cr like tears rolling down my cheek. It was like a situation that got out of hand. It's like I went there to threaten him only to scare him and then I got overwhelmed and fired. Why did you pull out your gun? I just heard the word steam. Trying to blow off a bit of steam. Yeah, this is like um, destiny. We have a problem. There's hope, but then the truth is that it's not gonna stop. This is an affair between the judge and the wife, I believe. That wasn't stopping. But the wife was also not leaving the sheriff. So I think that the sheriff went there to threaten him and things got out of hand. Balance, and I don't think it has anything to do with the 15 year old daughter again, besides the father, which the sheriff, feeling like his daughter's getting gonna get taken away from him and possibly look at another man as a father figure. Balance, which is justice. Yeah, like this is the like this is like the crime playing out. It's like the affair keeps going. There's a warning, you better figure out what, you know, you better stop this from the sheriff to the judge and then the death. And now the justice process playing out. Yeah, I don't think this case is anything like the media is trying to put out, uh, how the judge was having an inappropriate affair with the daughter. I think not. I think not. I feel like the, the keep feeling like the daughter is like a witness of the continuing affair. And I think she told her father that the affair had not stopped. She seen her mother with him. Heart chakra. Look it. It's like I find out the information I start plotting in order to keep my job and to keep my relationship. It's like he didn't want to jump the gun, but when it's like, when it came time for confirmation, he got out of control and overreacted. But I also feel like he didn't have all the information going into this. I feel like that's why he's so remorseful. When you see him in court, he's crying, the sheriff, because I think now he knows that what he did 
was an overreaction. Deception and envy, which is a seven of swords. The truth is, this is all, it's not going to stop with a lie. I feel like the affair was over. But he didn't think so. Because there was an incident of them being together again. And the kidnapping is not in the literal sense. It's more like you're going to steal my family away from me. Foundations and achievements, which is the four of wands. Yeah. It's like, to me, this symbolizes like this is what happens when you commit murder. It's like due process is going to unfold the wheels of justice are going to turn it's going to be routine it's just going to be routine as far as like the process but this also to me symbolizes like the family um like structure and this is why it like all happened the, it's true about the crime being about family. Authority, which is the emperor. Yeah, this is the sheriff trying to maintain his authority in at work and in the relationship with his wife. Yeah, deception and envy. This sheriff, which is the seven of I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. This sheriff believed a lie and he couldn't, he couldn't shake it. It took over him. Thought his wife was gonna leave him. He thought he was gonna lose his family, but it wasn't true. He let his anger, his emotions, overrun his logic, common sense. Um, so yes, this is indeed a crime of passion. The thought of losing the thought of losing his family was too much to bear, and he jumped. He jumped to conclusions and reacted poorly. Eight of Wands, yeah. It, it's all about his family. That's why it happened all so fast. And I feel like this shooting at the courthouse was not the first attempt to try and maintain the family. It was a series of episodes, instances, previous confrontations that occurred and this was like the icing on the cake the judge and the wife i believe were not supposed to be seeing each other i feel like the daughter told the dad that she'd seen them and that's why they were calling her um Something about the daughter and the judge not getting along. Or, sorry, the, the daughter, the sheriff and his daughter not getting along. I guess that's a topic for another reading. There's something about abuse from the sheriff. By the sheriff. Uh, triumphant success. Yeah, I want this is my bright idea, which wasn't so bright, I guess. The feeling is that I get is like the sheriff had this plan of how he was gonna threaten the judge um, and make him fear 
and it went out of control. My feeling is that, like, the intention was not murder. But, like, as soon as he drew the gun, it was over. But murder, meet the meeting was not supposed to end in murder. Fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups. It's like, I've been lied to. I can't get this out of my head. I need to feel better. Because this is not stopping. But there's other issues with the sheriff in the office. There's other problems that were going on with the sheriff. Combative, mean. That weren't stopping, but yeah. This is definitely about an affair that was not ending. Third eye chakra. This is about my family. That's why it happened so fast and caught on camera. Um, that's... Yeah, this is about going to the office to threaten, give an ultimatum, and things got out of control. And that's why it's all on camera, because it was... It was a it was a crime of passion. But not in the way that the media is portraying it. It wasn't about the daughter. It's about the wife and the judge connecting. And I think the daughter was like the witness of the connection. Prosperity begins, but it wasn't the whole truth. What was told was not the whole truth. Half truth. I'm not sure how so, but the ju the sheriff jumped to conclusions and took and took it too far prosperity begins ace of um so we may find out the sheriff was looking for a new job this could also be about the judge was planning on firing the sheriff because of his behave because of his behaviors his it's issues in the office, I feel like the judge was going to fire him. I believe we'll find out that he was already looking for a new job. Sheriff, I'm telling you, this sheriff has issues. And I feel like this was premeditated. Um, and definitely a crime of passion, I believe, related to a relationship and also the I believe the judge was going to have the sheriff fired for his behavior. I feel like the sheriff knew about the affair, um, but he was like planning because he wanted to keep his job and he wanted to keep his marriage. But the judge, I think, was trying to have him fired. There's issues with this judge having other relationships in the office, which made the sheriff feel like 
him being with his wife was plausible. But the feeling I'm getting is like, the wife and the sh judge initially started talking about because of the sheriff's behavior. I keep feeling, I keep feeling alcoholism. There's an issue with alcoholism that was be like becoming a problem that usually when alcohol comes up, it comes up as in my cups, but the feeling is like some sort of substance. I feel like it's alcohol uh, was causing an issue here. The sheriff was losing his family, his job, and he snapped. The feeling I keep getting is like, the sheriff has always wanted to be in law enforcement. So to lose his job at the courthouse was like losing everything in tandem with also losing his family um, set him over the edge. So I think I'm going to end it here. <sighs> Motive is the uh, sheriff felt he was losing everything. The judge was at the center of that because I feel like the judge was going to fire him if in some manner he was working towards that sheriff being fired and was also interacting with the sheriff's wife romantically. Or the sheriff thought that was the case. I feel like it was the case. And the feeling that I get too is like, the judge and the wife were not stopping seeing each other. I feel like initially the confrontation was just going to be a threat. And the sheriff took it too far. And what's the kicker is the sheriff did this only on 50% of the real actual information. He acted on a lie. And he took that judge's life without being 100% sure about what was going on. Yeah, so we'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.